We're here with UC Irvine head coach Dan Platt after an 11-7 victory in the semifinals of the 2022 Big West Women's Water Polo Championship. First coach, just an opening statement about today's game. I mean, it was a great battle, obviously, going into the fourth quarter, one goal game. Um, I've got a lot of respect for that Long Beach team, for the way they play, the way they fight. I think it's one of the most exciting parts about the Big West is every team you saw it with Hawaii and San Diego before they kept that game close. Uh, it's it's a fun and uh, hard conference to coach in, hard on the heart, but you know, fun for the type of games that you want to be in coaching. Uh, we struggled to finish early in the game. I felt like we had some really, really good opportunities that could have separated us a little bit. And finally, in the fourth quarter, we had the energy to be able to finish, which I think was a big deal. And we, we played good five-man. Um, our goalie, Jordan Frost, stepped up and, and, and had an awesome game for us. But uh, hats off to Long Beach. They, they came to the battle. They made us work really hard. Um, I've just got so much respect for that coaching staff and, and the effort they put into their team. It was a pretty physical game. Do you think that that played into effect it, in that fourth quarter? It, it always is, right? Long Beach and UCI, that's our that's our rival. That's the black and blue rivalry. So we get up for playing each other. And um, I, I think the girls are going to fight for every inch, um, every everything of position, every move. And that's what you have to expect. And um, you're always just hoping that you make one more play than they do at the end of the game. But um, I think there's just a mutual respect there and, and you know, a will to want to beat each other. And, and so that's it kind of turns into a physical game as a result. Looking ahead to tomorrow, you all have played Hawaii in the finals now six out of the last ten times we've had this tournament in the last three. Uh, talk about that rivalry and that matchup with them. I mean, again, just great. Uh, player core, great coaching staff. Uh, Mo Cole's a really good friend of mine and someone I respect deeply and I know her team's always going to be prepared and excited. They had so much energy on the bench. They're excited to be here at home playing. Um, we're excited to be playing them at, at, at home and, and have that opportunity for, for us. But uh, same thing you saw with Long Beach. I think our teams carry a mutual respect for each other and a desire to want to beat each other. Uh, at the same time, so I think you're going to see more of the same, just a lot of really great plays and effort from um, the ladies in the water, and um, it's going to be about them tomorrow, those those two teams. I'm just excited that I can uh, walk back out to the six-meter line again tomorrow. That was something I, I struggled with all game long. Uh, once I got my cards, I could only go to the two, and I kept forgetting and having to pace backwards, so... Um, I'm excited to be able to get up and coach and get into the game, and these are really fun. And they've been one-goal games for the most part, so I'm hoping I'm hoping for that, and obviously for a victory. But I'm really just hoping for a great battle, a game we're both proud of being in and coaching and playing. Uh, you guys have played each other twice this year. Both went to Hawaii, but both very close battles. How do you feel like you match up with them? Kind of take us through a little bit of your game plan without giving everything away. I, they're great players everywhere. I mean, the game plan is is tough to write because you what, what do you you can't plan away from anybody. You gotta you, you just gotta plan to, to be the best at each position and um, and try to win at each position. I, I just I'm I, I look at their players. I know uh, I, I know who you know who they are and how they compete. And um, there, there's really you know it's a championship game. Everybody's gonna be up. Uh, everybody's going to be excited about playing it, and, and at the end of the day, we're just hoping tomorrow that, that we're one goal better. Tara, I've gotten a little bit of uh, exclusion trouble today. How do you maybe... That was, that was big for that? our team. Um, we, that hasn't happened all season long, honestly, not once. And so it was really interesting. I, I looked at Andrew, uh, my assistant, and at least my other assistant, after the first quarter, and I said, well, the adversity is thick uh, in this game, and, and we'll see how we respond to it. And um, she was great on the bench. She kept herself. She didn't, you know, she didn't get selfish and, and, and be upset with what was going on. She put her energy well on the bench into her teammates uh, and, and into the play of the team, and she kept them pumped up. And um, I thought we had a lot of ladies step into to, to really important places, and we had some people play more minutes than they've played in a while. So, um, you know, they'll, they'll be tired. They'll, get, they'll, they'll sleep well tonight. Uh, we got to figure out what, what the best meal around here to give them is to, to replenish a little bit. But um, I, 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 was, I was really proud of the way everyone else responded, and specifically of the defense. That's a very talented offensive team, and to, to hold them to seven goals is, is a big challenge, and uh, I thought they did great. Do you think that plays into tomorrow's confidence, the fact that you can deal with adversity and, and come out the better for it? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I think my team expected to be in this position. They expect to be here, and I think they played like a team at the end of the game that expects to be in this game. Um, 
I think they were confident before. I think always wins uh, allow you confidence and they help you to gain confidence. And, um, you know, this, this is a three-game tournament. It's hard. There's not a lot of times where you play three games three days in a row. So tomorrow is just all about heart um, and, and effort and, you know, just hope that uh, we're able to execute. All right. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks so much. Thank you.